Hi guys, uh, I've been in contact with Multiplay quite recently and they informed me they're going to be creating a new game and therefore require a new character. So when they asked me if I would be interested in creating a new character for them, I, I jumped at the challenge and uh, I happily accepted. So it got me thinking that maybe I'll create the character on a video tutorial and post online just to see part of what Multiplay are getting up to and their progression as the days, weeks and months go on. So what Multiplay actually did was they sent me a, a head of a monkey which they were quite interested in but there was no body and what I'm gonna do is create the body of the monkey so I'm gonna create the body, the arms, the legs and the tail but I'm not gonna create them as separate pieces I'm gonna create everything as one mesh, one piece so everything is connected, which is a little bit harder to do, but that's the way I'm going to do it. In this tutorial, it's going to be a little bit like, not speed modeling, but I'm not going to go into too much detail as to what buttons and uh, I'm clicking and uh, typing on the keyboard. So what I've done is, I've at the bottom here, there's a little software that indicates the buttons I'm pushing on the keyboard and what buttons I'm pushing on the mouse to give you an idea of what steps I'm taking. So, first thing we're going to do is, in Blender, in order to create a model or um, edit anything, you have to go into edit mode. And by going into edit mode, you can see the mesh. You will see that only half of the mesh is showing on the monkey's head. And that's because, in actual fact, it is only half a mesh, as you see right now. I'm using a mirror feature that when I create one thing on one side it mirrors it on the other side. The reason being is when I come to create the arms and the legs I just have to create one arm and it mirrors it and creates the other arm automatically. And the same with the leg. So it's for faster modeling and more accurate modeling because when you create one arm it exactly duplicates it on the other side. So here um, what you'll see, this area here, is the area that I want to delete. Now the reason I want to delete this area is because it conflicts with m the mirror feature on Blender if I don't delete it. it, it, it the mesh messes up a little bit so you have to delete it so it, it's more, it creates a more smooth mesh. So the way it's done is on Blender you have face select mode which is as you can see here the mesh you can physically select the face or the area or you have a vertex select mode which you can actually select the individual vertices so if I go to face select mode right hand click on this area keep my finger down on the shift button on the keyboard and whilst keeping it down right hand click here, here and here. If I press X for delete and I select faces you can see that I've deleted that area of the mesh and you can also see that the head inside is hollow. I want to now go into vertex select mode and I want to physically select these vertices here. I right hand click on this one, keep my finger down on shift and whilst keeping it down right hand click on that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one and that one. I now want to extrude it down to create the neck area so I press E for extrude and I want to extrude it along the Z axis which is downwards so I press Z. I move my mouse downwards to about there, left hand click the mouse to set it in place. If I now press S for scale along the x-axis, I'm scaling it outward along the x-axis, say to about there. I'm now just going to mess around with these vertices to spread them out. Just like so. So now I want to select them over again. So right hand click, keep my finger down on shift, click, click, right hand click, right hand click, 
right and click and so forth go to view front so now I'm looking at the model front on zoom out by moving the roller on the mouse E for extrude along the Z axis so I press Z so it's E then Z then move my mouse down to about there for the chest area left hand click to set again E Z move it down to about there for the belly button the belly area left hand click and set it E Z move it down slightly for the hip area then left hand click to set it and now press S for scale and move it inward a bit left hand click to set it press E for extrude S for scale and you can see it's moving inward but if I want to close that opened area I just press 0 so it closes up and left hand click to set it now I'm going to click on the blue arrow left hand click and keep my finger down on the left hand button and now move it down a little bit so I get that you can see I've created the body but it's a bit thin so first thing I want to do is click on face select mode if I press C on the keyboard for circle select you'll notice when I press C my mouse becomes a circle I can make that circle bigger by using the roller button or make it smaller by using the roller button anything I click on will highlight so if I move my circle select over this area and left hand click once it highlights everything so you can just keep your finger down and keep highlighting it so it's a quick way of highlighting the mesh on the model like so now if I press S for scale along the Y direction I'm making the body a bit more proportional a bit more accurate turn them around S for scale along the X direction and we can say that's about right now I want to create a belly so I left hand click on the area that I've is highlighted left hand sorry right hand click on the area that's high right highlighted left hand click on the green arrow keeping my finger down and pushing it outwards so we're sort of creating a belly area this area here that I've just highlighted by right hand clicking is gonna be the arm section but it's a bit too wide for an arm so I'm gonna press S to scale and scale it down maybe S for scale along the Y direction to make it more of a square and then S again to scale it down a little bit more so E for extrude along the X direction move my mouse over to about there left hand click to set it E for extrude again along the X direction to about there left hand click to set it the area that's highlighted I want to make it a bit thinner what I mean by that is if I press S for scale along the Z direction I want to make it like so because this is going to be the hand area once again E for extrude along the X direction and about there now I go to loop cut and slide button click it once move my mouse over the hand area there's the loop click it again slide it with my mouse click it to set it go to face select mode right hand click that area that I've just selected extrude along the Y direction there's the thumbs and you can see that the hand I created on the right hand side has duplicated on the left hand side once again I'm going to use this area for the feet sorry for the legs scale it down a little bit for S uh, press S again along the Z direction make it a bit bigger like so S to scale move my mouse inwards to make it a bit smaller 
we'll say about there. If we extrude along the x direction, maybe about there, left hand click the arrow by keeping my finger down, and while I'm keeping it down, I drag it down a little bit. If we extrude along the x direction, like so. In this case, his legs are going to be shorter than his arms. Left hand click, keeping my finger down over the blue arrow and move it downward. Like so. Like so. Now we're going to work on the feet. So it's S for scale, Z to make it a little bit thinner. Like so. E for extrude, X direction, like so. Loop, cut, and slide. Move your mouse over the foot. You see the loop. Left hand click, Move, slide it across. Left hand click to set it. Go back to face select mode. Right hand click the area. E for extrude, Y direction. Bring it outwards, and there you've got the feet and the legs. Go to edit mode. Well, it was not edit mode before. Now this area is going to be the tail, but I want to make it more of a square. So first thing I'm going to do is S for scale along the Z direction. and select it by left hand clicking. Now I want to select vertex select mode. I want to just click on this vertices by right hand clicking it and moving it along the red arrow which is actually the X uh, axis. And now go back to face select mode. Right hand click the area S for scale, Z direction, make it into a square. Now just S again, make it smaller. Now remember, there's still the mirror feature, so it's still going to mirror. Whatever I'm going to do here is going to mirror it on the other side, so that's why I'm making it a little bit smaller because the size I make it now, the tail, it's going to double in size because it's mirroring it along the X axis. So I'll just make it a little bit smaller. So about there. E for extrude along the y-axis. Out comes the tail. So about there. E for extrude again along the y-axis. Maybe to about there. I can then drag it up a little bit. And E for extrude. Scale the area up to make the end of the tail fatter than the rest of the tail. Go into object mode. And, well, let's go back into edit mode because the tail looks a little bit funny in the end there. Let's bring him up like that. Go back into object mode. And this is the basics of a character. You've just created a monkey on Blender. I really hope that this tutorial has come in handy. And uh, I really personally look forward to seeing this monkey onto Multiplayer's new game. Thank you very much for watching.